Uh, what's your opinion about the euro? Uh, can we say that we have a solid currency right now? Not yet. So I, I think with benefit of hindsight, we know that creating the euro in 1999 was a mistake. It was a mistake to create a, a monetary union without a banking union, a fiscal union, and a political union. But some mistakes are irreversible. So I think the euro is here to stay. That means that it, it, it's solid in the sense of continuing to exist. It's not solid in terms of inspiring confidence. I think the um, fight against deflation has to be won, and the banking union, fiscal union, and monetary union need to be completed before the confidence will be there. And what will be the most important challenges uh, of international currencies in the next years? I think eventually we will have to learn to live with a multi-currency international system. For the second half of the 20th century, over the second half of the 20th century, we grew accustomed to a, current, to a system organized around one currency and one currency only, the dollar. I think in the future, the dollar, even the euro, eventually, and the Chinese renminbi will all play important international roles. So uh, smoothly operating a system that involves three significant international currencies will require cooperation, sound and stable policies and cooperation among the issuing governments. Mm -hmm. And are the economic authorities and institutions developing the right politics to face these challenges? Not yet. So uh, the right policies uh, require uh, the maintenance of stability, which I think we have restored financially. Uh, the right policies involve growing the platforms for these currencies, so growing the U.S., European, and Chinese economies. In Europe in particular, the growth supporting policies are not there. Um, Europe, I think, is where the big problem resides for the international system. Europe needs two-handed policies, supply-side policies on the one hand and demand-side policies on the other, and the demand-side policies are still lacking. Mm -hmm. And finally, uh, what role does International Monetary Fund plays in this context? In this context, the International Monetary Fund can uh, say supportive things, but it can only do relatively little because its resources are limited uh, and its legitimacy is limited. Uh, the major economies agreed in 2010 to reform the governance of the IMF to give emerging markets like China greater voice, but the advanced economies have not followed up on that commitment and they need to do so to give the IMF the legitimacy it needs to play a more important role. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.